Hey guys, iOS 12.2 Beta 2 was released today. I did expect 12.1.4 to be released to the public, but that hasn't happened. I'll take this though all the same. So as is usual, let's go ahead and explore everything that's new and changed in this firmware. Now the biggest change found in iOS 12.2 Beta 2 is the addition of four new Animojis. So jump into your Animoji menu. Of course, granted you have a compatible device, iPhone 10 or above, and in here you're gonna see a giraffe, a shark, an owl, and a warthog over here, so this little piggy guy. I like the shark, definitely my favorite. So just to give you a demo of what that looks like while I'm talking, uh, smiling, very, very cool. So I love that Apple's expanding on this. People love this kind of stuff. I do too, of course. I don't use it often, but hey, it's cool, artistic, nice of Apple to update those. Now opening up the control center, there are a considerable amount of changes in here. So first off, well, yeah, I'm on a 10 or forget. Over here, the AirPlay icon, the static one in the top right has been altered. So previously it was those dashed lines that ebbed and flowed like that. Now it's just a solid AirPlay icon, which is cool, I guess. And when you are streaming music with it, as you can see, it still pulses like that. Kind of cool, neat little animation. Now this is even cooler. So depending on where you're playing content from, let's say we're gonna play some friends here on Netflix, notice the icon changes. So that is dynamic and will change depending on the content and where it's streaming to. So I like that a lot. Now, if you are streaming to the Apple TV, now there's a new button right here, which you can quickly bring up the Apple TV remote from. If you slide up, it'll go right back. Previously, that did not exist. It's definitely not existent in 12.1.3, and I like that a lot. So a little shortcut here in the Apple TV menu. And take a look at this. There's a new animation in iOS in the music app. So when accessing the AirPlay menu here, there's a new animation for how it pops up. Previously, it kind of just bounced inwards, and now the entire display uh, goes out like that. So very, very cool all around a new animation for entering and leaving the AirPlay menu. And many users on AT&T in certain cities are noticing that they are getting a 5G E tag instead of LTE right next to their carrier status info. So that's not real 5G just yet, but it is AT&T testing out their artificial, still a step up from LTE, but not quite real 5G speed. So if you do notice that AT&T is doing some sort of testing around where you live. Also, iOS 12.2 introduces new betas of Apple's classroom application. That's version 2.0 for iPhones and 3.0 for iPad. All right, so that's iOS 12.2 beta 2. There are a number of features from the first beta that I forgot to cover, which I will do so now. So now when you're sharing a photo, the AirPlay icon now reflects that new TV looking AirPlay icon instead of this old one right here. So that was the previous one. That is the new one now. And now when placing a search in the music application, if you go into the album view for the results, the album view is different too. And it'll actually display the entire album name for applicable songs. And now in iOS 12.2, when playing music on an independent HomePod, so not playing it from your iPhone, if you actually lock your device, the now playing page will show up even if you're not streaming music from your iPhone to that HomePod. So it's kind of a cool change that several users have noticed. And the actual algorithm for moving applications on your home screen has changed. So it's much more responsive now, creating folders, canceling them and going backwards, like things just move so much better. And this was a change noticed on iOS beta. Now there's a new API in Safari that forces certain websites that wouldn't let you view in full screen before to absolutely have to view in full screen. So some of these buttons previously would just make the view bigger within the Safari window. Now it automatically and always has to enter this full screen mode. A very cool change for people that can speak more than one language. If you actually search for a subject in your native language, for example, I'm searching for sushi here in Japanese, now Apple Maps will both give you the result in Japanese and in English. So by default, it would just show English. As you can see, now it says that name in Japanese. Very cool, Apple. And in general, Safari has received major upgrades to this iOS 12.2 version. Lots of new APIs, many changes all around, and even the HTML5 score represents all those changes Apple is adding. Also in Safari is a new API that allows you to bring up the share sheet just by clicking a button that the developers can embed natively within the website. So as this tweet suggests, basically you can click a button and it'll automatically bring this up without having to click default one here down below. Also within the autofill sections in Safari, now when doing it, it'll automatically click the button for you and send you to the next page. Previously, it would just populate the two areas over here and then wait for you to click the sign in button. Now it does so automatically. In the wallet application, there's a slightly revamped interface for setting up Apple Pay Cash. 
something I missed last time. And within screen time, the downtime settings page now allows for customized days. So you can actually customize the total schedule of your week instead of just vaguely by day. And I mentioned this earlier in a news update, but iOS 12.2 now includes support for Swift 5. Swift 5 means a slightly smaller app size for most applications that take advantage of this new coding language. Two, it also means slightly faster load times for certain applications, again, that take advantage of this new language. So very cool all around. That could mean immediate benefits to all third-party app launching on future devices. And iOS 12.2 does include reference to the new iPod Touches and the cheaper budget end iPads, as I did mention in an earlier video. So very cool all around. 12.2 is shaping up to be a very large upgrade, lots of under the cover stuff. Lastly, again, let's run that Geekbench, see if anything has changed. Okay, and looking good here. So nothing really to report, just about the same scores. Otherwise, guys, there it is, iOS 12.2 beta 2. Lots of changes here. Well, not so much of this release, but in general, iOS 12.2 is quite a significant release. So stay tuned for any developments on this. I'll keep you updated on 12.1.4 and everything in between. Peace.